scrimmage? What did you think? Yeah, I thought there was a lot going on out there tonight, right? The, the elements, um, we were trying to, there's certain guys that we didn't really want to get too much. We wanted to get them a little bit and get them out. So we, you know, we jumped into that situational football early in the scrimmage, which usually that's later, you know, the, the two minute drill. Um, but I thought the guys did a good job of staying focused because we jumped all over the place. At one point, the storm was headed right for us and we thought there was going to be lightning. So I tried to get everybody in. You know, it's been a long camp. I wanted to make sure everybody got in. Then the storm kind of veered out towards the water a little bit. So then we thought we had more time. It was good. It was a good opportunity for everybody, coaches, players, staff, to be on their toes and execute. Um, so I'm anxious to watch and see, you know, exactly technically how we did. But I thought as an organization, they, we kind of handled the day and then the scrimmage well tonight. What's next? I mean, you watch the film and depth chart uh, kind of settles out from there? Well, yeah, there's, there were some decisions that are going to be made off, off tonight for sure. You know, and, and it's not always the starting decisions. It's, you know, is he a two, is he a two and a half, or is he a three? And when I say a two and a half, you, know, you get two deep, one and two on each position, and then like a, a fifth guy that builds the depth. Um, and those battles are just as important, maybe not just as important, but they're very important because during a game, you, know, you can get to that in a heartbeat, and now that's the guy that's in there to win the game. And as we always say around here, if you're in the game, you're a starter because those plays count. How valuable is it to get this weather? That's the one thing you can't, you can't control. Yeah, you know, I think it's always good if you can get it. I, we play the game in the elements, so you know whether it's the cold last year when we played late, or the rain, right? Lightning. You know, we've had many times in my career delays where you you know you go out to warm up or you're about to go warm up and you go back to the locker room. You know, we have plans for all of that, and uh, you know operationally you have to be ready to do that. You know, and Gilk has a plan for all that stuff. It's all written out and just it goes into motion when it happens. So. Tonight we were ready to try to do that if, if you could wait it out if it was lightning. So, you know, this could have been a late one for you guys. Fortunately, it wasn't. Um, but, yeah, overall, uh, there was some good stuff out there from a football standpoint as well as from a circumstance, dealing with circumstance. How, how would you evaluate Noah's camp so far? Noah's been very efficient. You know, I wouldn't say he's been spectacular, but he's been efficient. He's run the offense well. Um, He's actually had some plays that I thought were going to, you know, even tonight there was a couple that I thought were touchdowns and all of a sudden it wasn't. Um, but I think he's he's primed, he's ready to go. I think the big battle is obviously at the two spot. Um, we're really going to have to study that hard. Is that a competition You know, Bob, that's a great question. Sean and I were just talking about that today. You know, you hope that tonight decides it, but if it doesn't, it doesn't. You know, I'm not going to force it to happen. Uh, but, you know, you do need to have somebody that's going in next. So that has to be decided. What's the depth? Are you have more confident this year than where you were last year? Is it that much further along in depth box? Well, we definitely have more depth, you know, for sure. I mean, that's, especially with all the super seniors, that gives you something you'd never have, right? So, yeah, we, I'm more confident with our team, but, you know, so is every other team. You know, it's all relative. Craig, getting a lot of guys are playing experience along the defensive line. How is that group looking overall? I think they've done. A, they've had a pretty good camp as a group. You know, we, we, with Ifan, you know, coming back from his deal, uh, I would have loved to seen him more. But uh, I think Mayan Ahanatu had a tremendous camp. I think he really performed at a high level. Um, you know, Mike, Julius, uh, Christian Onechi. I mean, I think we have depth. Um, we're going to play a lot of guys, you know. Yeah, they, we got a we got a chance. Last well, year you employed three running backs. I think we have an idea that Isaiah and Aaron will, uh, you know, be in the mix. But who's in the mix for the third? Well, it's interesting, right? You have you have the young kid Al Shadi, yeah, right. So he's he's impressed. Um, I think it's going to be. Like you said, Aaron and uh, and Pop are going to be uh, they're going to be the, the first two to go. Uh, I think Kyle has had a really good camp. Um, 
we'll see. I think that's one of those that we really got to study and make some tough decisions on. Because you're right, you can't get everybody carries. But all of those guys will play, whether it be at running back or on special teams. They're all good football players. It's just you can't get enough guys carries in practice week. And forget carries, blocks. Probably they could all go in and carry the ball. It's the protection things they need to do and formationally. You know, if you don't rep it, it's hard to do it. When time for two more? When do you break camp? Wednesday or Thursday? Um, we kind of break it in stages. Okay. So, like, they'll move out of the dorms tomorrow, but we're still in a camp mode. We'll do some temple stuff, then we get a little break, uh, and then we'll come back true game week. So I like the way it sets up. Uh, it's, it's the way we've done it for a number of years. And I think, you know, depending on how the injury report is tomorrow morning, you never know, right? You think you're okay, and then all of a sudden you have a problem. But if, if we get through this, uh, relatively healthy, then I think we have some decisions to make in the next 24, 48 hours. Because you have to be able to lock in and say, these are the guys we're repping now for the game. Are you a coach who believes you can tell a lot when the young guys are in the stadium the first couple times in the summer? I think everybody, not just the young guys. You know, there was an energy there. I don't know what time you guys got here, but we tried to make it as game-like as possible. Pre-game warm-up, you know, we hadn't done that yet. There was a really, anytime you go play at night, you play football at night, that's why I love high school football, right? I mean, there's a different feel at night, uh, but you could feel the energy with our team, which you never know, right? Guys could be after a long camp, come out and just try to get through it. We certainly didn't do that. I mean, these guys came out and played hard and uh, dealt with the elements like it didn't, like it wasn't even raining. So that's good to see, right? That means they're locked in and focused when they can do that. Thanks, Coach. All right, guys, thank you.